me, 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 me. Local legend. <laughs> R&B superstar phenomenon. Rising phenom. <laughs> Straight out of New Jersey, we have Jelani. Like, sir, 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 sir. Welcome, 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 sir. So, so again, my name is Addison. My name is Trevor. It's your boy Chris. And this is Twenty Two Candles. Woo! All right. Um, speaking of Twenty Two Candles, follow us on all social media. Um, candle underscore music. Um, check out our spot fund s p o t f u n d dot com slash candle music. We're trying to raise ten thousand dollars for the app that should be dropping soon. Cool, cool. Also, follow Jelani on social media on Instagram. At what is it, Jelani underscore Lani? Jelani underscore Lani, J E L A. Yes, yes, yes. Also, check him out on Spotify, Jelani, J E L A N I. Also, in the description below. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in the description. All right, cool, 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 cool. So, welcome, sir. Thank Glad you, man. You. Thanks for having me, fellas. You know what I'm saying? It's been, you know, yes, long so. overdue. Long overdue. Yeah, yeah, big I'm, facts. I'm just 100%. Yeah. So, 20 procrastination, episodes over there. <laughs> procrastination at its finest. You know, oh, the whole cool. premise of this podcast was to get interviews and, and to actually talk <laughs> about people who are making real music. And we were already talking about everything <laughs> but that. So. Nah, that's cool. You got to start somewhere. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Got to get the conversation yeah, so. going and it leads into everything else. Yeah, dude. 100%. And we're going to start with you. So, <laughs> all right. Um, jumping right into it. Jelani, family ties. There are family ties here. Uh oh. <laughs> your mic is like not picking up. Something. Like I'm not talking. No, you're talking, but it's like not talking. It's not picking up. I think the gate's too high. Uh oh. Um, Hang in there, dude. <laughs> Hang in. Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Um. Talk. Hello, hello, hello. Mic test. Check. Is this my water? Check it, check, check, it check. Is. check. Check, 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 I don't know if that was, but the thing is, I don't believe I don't believe that was an actual true story. I think he was just trying reach. to. I think that was just like a good like propaganda for going to like a water park and then making sure you don't get crabs. Make sure you don't get crabs. Right. Because what he said then, not... like I was like, oh, I don't, like I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. So what was I saying? Um, family oh, ties. Yes, family ties. Gang, get a gang, get a gang. Jelani's my cousin, but you know, well, Jelani's my cousin. We grew up together. Right. Yeah, we did. Truly. The mic is still not working. What? What is happening? Just talking and was cutting out. Am I Is it because I'm talking too loud? Or I'm not talking loud enough? No. We got all these gifts from the wedding. We had a registry, and none of this stuff was really from. Nigga, this is homegrown. Right. All right, we're gonna figure it out. Um. So yeah, Jelani's my cousin. We grew up together. Going back and forth from Jersey. He knows my needs. We're, we 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 familiar, right? <laughs> so so Jelani, take us back for a second. Like, talk talk to us about about your 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 singing life and how it went into getting get, like you know like how it got how how did you get to where you are now because of just life and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so like um originally um I was um uh, supposed to go to school for I was playing basketball at first at high school. So that was my first gig, you know, that's what I was doing first. But uh, of course, I mean and I was in high school, I was still singing and stuff like the talent shows and all that stuff. So um singing was always at the heart of everything to be honest with you always loved doing that. So singing and basketball were my first loves. But then um when I got into college, you know, um I had to kind of pick, you know. Basketball at the time, you know, it was taking up a, 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 a heck of a lot of time, like, I guess in the second half of my day, um, but I also was at home with my dad, so I had to pay bills a little bit and stuff like that, so I had to choose between um, either basketball or um, just kind of working a job, and it ended up being just working a job, um, but then 
it opened up opportunity for me to, you know, pursue my music as well. Um, and I always like singing. So it was just like, I kind of fell into my lap the correct way. Um, and it's not like I just like, it fell into my lap, but it was like, what I love to do already. So that's when everything kind of, you know, took flight. Um, my plan originally, <laughs> I told everybody my plan originally was be on everybody's mixtape and get famous. And then it's over. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna say, well, everybody's mixtape in my town. Anybody that thinks they're a rapper is a rapper in my town. I'm saying, like, everybody makes tape and I'm getting famous. Bam. And then, you know, you take it from there. Um, but that was the plan originally. Um, and then, of course, you know, I think when I was, while I was in school, I was still at middle, I went to actually went to middle school. while I was there. Um, I wasn't playing basketball, but um, I made my first YouTube video when I was there. Um, made my first one. I was there. I was in like my little comments area. Um, did my first YouTube video, uh, YouTube video, and that was like my first um, time. Show well, not, I mean, people already knew I could sing, but that was my first time kind of putting on display in the, um, I guess, networking form, so like the rest of the world could see it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, like that's kind of where everything, the origins of everything. You know what I'm saying it's cool. Yeah, that's dope. I mean, no, I remember. I remember because he was singing as singing as nigga <laughs> as kids. <laughs> always, always singing, singing man. Always so singing. Really you should not be singing, singing now. Yeah. Right, right, right. Like, like the profession and like doing like putting your all into it. Back to the wall. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big facts. You know what I'm saying? So I had to make so, it like a, a thing I wanted to do. Uh, I remember me, Addison, and my cousin Russell and Nadir sitting in the living room. And my cousin Russell, like, maybe sing to a girl on his phone. And then, like, we was all just sitting there chilling. <laughs> he's like, yo, like, I had a, I sang to the girl on the phone. We was all there. This is, like, good times. We all, like, I sang to her. And then he said the next time he seen her, he said he had to sing for her in person. But it didn't go that well. <laughs> so it was like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was yeah, like, hey, man. It still oh, works. Bro, bro, it still works. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, yeah, it was cool, though. Know? Yeah. Right, Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> when you had minutes, bro. Oh my god! Yeah. Wow, time. You had to wait till night time to call. <laughs> Roll over time. Right? Like... <laughs> what happened? To all the minutes. Word, oh. After minutes was involved. Oh shit! Yeah. You had to yeah. wait till after what nine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was it after uh, nine? It's three minutes. <laughs> that's how you know we're old, yo. That's how you know we're old. Yeah, that's crazy. Understatement. But yeah, that's where it started. You know what I'm saying? That's where it started making videos in my living room. Um, I was going to Middlesex, making going home, figuring out new songs to do, making them in my living room, however I could do it, working at the dollar store. That's that's, that's the, the grind. The grind was real. Yeah. So how long would you say you've been uh, dropping songs like to the world? So like on YouTube or on some type of streaming uh, platform? I mean, like, so actual music, like original music, I've been dropping it since like. Let me think. I dropped my first song, I think, in like 2000. I graduated 12. So I think I dropped my first song maybe like in 13, the latest 14, you know. Nice. Um, it was, you know, of course, you know, like with media being what it was, you know what I'm saying? It was easier not to drop music, you know what I'm saying? So like, I was able to like use my Instagram to kind of like build up my following. So this way I could kind of get popping. So I didn't really have to release any real music until like, you know, a little later. But um, I wish I could have released it sooner. You know, I'm a perfectionist. Most artists, that's how we are. We're perfectionists. We think everything I'd be like, extra super. <laughs> right. I mean, all T's is, you know, cross. But they got to be on the top. And then all the I's dotted with the special dark eye. You know, all that jazz. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. it's crazy. But, uh, but yeah, that's how it started for me. I ain't, I ain't dropped nothing until like 13, 14. I think when I did my first... I think, uh, actually, I'm lying. That summer of 2012, or that, like, going into 13, I was in my first music video, I think. Mm -hmm. I was on World Star. That's when World Star was yeah. popping. I'm like, oh, summer on World Star is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I was back on niggas. Was, was, right? 2012 summer? Yeah, man, I was back when niggas was searching World Star every day. Yeah. <laughs> you had to pay. That's when you had to pay to put stuff on World Star. I mean, you probably still do, but, yeah. man, you was paying some few hundred <laughs> throw something up on world star like, you know what i'm saying so when we get on when we got on world star i was like oh snap and i should have had way more followers but i wasn't even really, like taking advantage of it like that i think you know what i'm saying but it was cool though it was fun so like 13 yeah. 14. 
So, um, so we were listening to some of your music before we got on the call today, and um, bro, low key right away, bro. That was some like outdoor vibes. I mean, even granted, like the video was outdoors, but like that's some serious outdoor vibes. What, what y'all think? Did y'all hear that? No, like, facts. See, yeah, I seen like, the video. That joint. I haven't seen it. Yeah, that joint's late. So, like, what was what was your inspiration behind that? Because I was like, dang, this is like some R. Kelly type, you know, enjoying family outdoors, but she's your girl. She got fat ass. Like, <laughs> what's, what's the vibes with that? I mean, like, that was more so like I actually did that song. Like, um, I did that song. I actually wrote that song while I was driving. I was at work when I was writing that song. And I just wanted to create some upbeat joint. Like, I like those kinds of beats already. But it was meant to be, like, a happy beat. It was meant to be, like, you know, exciting. Um, that was my first record that I did that I was, like, really comfortable with just being me. You know, yeah. I think I had, like, right after that, or a little bit after that, I think I decided to go bald. So it was, like, it was a time where I was, like, really getting comfortable my creative space you know now i'm in a mm-hmm. space where like um i was in that space where i could like really once i did that song it opened up the like the you know, i guess the box for me to start writing music in a totally different frame i mean in like in a totally different like way you know now i can like freestyle in the booth now and stuff like that i remember i couldn't do that but that song that was meant to be like just mad fun i just wanted something for girls to be in the mirror or on their phone kind of bumping or people shaking they or females shaking their ass too or just like you know having a good song. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it just it just I mean I just wanted a, a dope record. And I wanted to get away from like regular R and B while we're doing. That was the yeah. whole point. Like I had did chapter six. That was just like mad regular R and B, slow, like really affectionate and you your feelings. I'm like, I don't want to do that no more. I, <laughs> I wanted to get away from that because like, you know, it was just, you know, I wanted to try to like show my versatility. So I was like, yo, like, you got to make an upbeat song. You got to make a happy song. And uh came out pretty good. I was excited, you know. It was, it was a lot of fun. The video was cool. The video was a lot of fun. Oh, boy. That's yeah. Cool. No, I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Chris, how much time, how much time do we have left? Uh, like seven minutes. All right. So seven we, to ten. All right. So we have about seven to ten minutes left. What, um, you guys have any questions? What are you guys thinking? Um... Yo, Jelani, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, all right, bet, bet. Yo, so, like, what's your, um, like, creative process? Like, do you listen to the beat first, or do you write your lyrics first and try and match it to a beat? Like, how do you go about building a song? Mm, great question. Uh, for me, the beat come first. The beat tell me what I'm going to do um, a little bit, a little bit. Um, and then, you know, usually I just freestyle. I just sing whatever comes to my head. You know, the beat playing. Um, and then I just kind of start humming melodies and et cetera like that. And um, whatever comes to my mind, um, usually, you know, you try to go with how the beat sounds, trying to let you know what you want to talk about. Sometimes you switch it up, but I definitely need that beat first. Um, and sometimes, it, I mean, right now, the beat is everything. The beat is everything. If the beat's not catchy, if it doesn't sound valid, um, it's not going to do anything. You know, it's not really going to catch nobody's, anybody's ear. It doesn't matter how good I'm singing. If the beat is at least valid enough, what I'm singing is not going to really hold any merit you know what i mean so right. i need to beat first and then i just sing along with dead and i just kind of just freestyle it you know i just come up with whatever i come up with at the time yeah that's lit that's lit bro i like that that's real it's cool it's cool it's not a lot of fun so um what's up with let's roll you're still part of let's roll records right yeah, yeah, yeah that's like home team like so like there's no that's still home team it's kind of like meek mill and dream chasers kind of thing yeah. you know he got dream chasers that he got you know what I mean? Anything else. So that's yeah. kind of like my dream chasing. You know, that's family. No, really. They taught they taught me the the right way to do things and the wrong way to do things. You know what I'm saying? Because we did a lot of stuff. But I wouldn't be, shoot, I wouldn't be half the artist I am without me learning and the camaraderie with those guys and them teaching me some things and being they, like you know, my big bros and kind of, you know, walking me down the path and stuff. They got me going. Yeah. They got me around yeah. the world. So I, I'm, I'm forever grateful for my fam. Those are my brothers for real. Nice, nice. All right, dude. So, um, I guess the last couple things I want to see is like, what, what do you have coming up? Like, what's the next steps? You didn't take some, you took some big steps in your personal life, and now yeah, you're taking some big steps in, you know, your professional. What's, what's the next steps with this? Uh, I mean, just kind of upgrading everything, making everything really valid, kind of showing people. There's a lot of people doing music now, 
So it's kind of, yeah. and I've been doing it for a little while. So it's kind of, it's not kind of, but it is time for me to show my veteran, uh, I guess, experience in the game. You know, it's got to look like I've been doing music for a while and I got to start having, per, you know, results like I've been doing music for a little while. It's not just about, you know, just making music anymore. It's about leveling up and everything looking nice and getting my money right. You know, I'm in a money mood right now. Um, I know you're always supposed to be like that, but like right now I'm like really heavy about my money. Um, I made a post a few days ago, but it's not about, you know, the bag towards my freedom. I ain't really want, I don't want to talk about it. Um, and that's just facts. If it ain't oh, about yeah. the bag towards my freedom so I can, you know, do my craft and spend time with my family, my friends and whatever like that, I don't want to talk about it. And if it ain't that, it ain't nothing else to talk about. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. You know, it's just about leveling up, making everything look official, looking clean, looking right. You know what I'm saying? It's got to got to level up. Got to keep going. Nice. Nice. I feel that, dude. I, I feel like I can still buy some new clothes. You working on the mixtape right now? Yeah, I'm working on something right, right now. I'm just doing it slow. That's a big deal for me because I like doing everything mad fast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's you got coming. any like, you got any like hints of like what kind of vibe you're going for, or you, you keeping it on a happy, feel good, next level? Feel good, but I'm I'm gonna mix it up though. But like I said, my creation process. I'm a better writer now. My creation process is way better. I got access to way better beats, so it's gonna be a totally different switch up. Fire. My bars are different. The way I sing is different. Everything. My delivery. It's gotten so much better. I write so much more freely. I got plugs on beats and writers and all kinds of resources. So I'm going to incorporate all those resources into something really crazy. You know, I got some big names and, you know, big people that know what they're doing. So it's not going to just be like a regular R&B, you know, album or EP. It's going to be like seven to eight songs, maybe maybe like nine. We're going to see how it fits. We're going to see. That's a good number. Yeah, that's a yeah, good maybe number. Maybe like too. nine, yeah. We were just talking about those 20 <laughs> just talking songs. About <laughs> 27 songs on albums, 20 songs on albums, damn son. Crazy. Probably you can pull that off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and barely even right. Like, yeah. Barely. Yeah. barely. <laughs> it's a clear. Barely even there, right. Exactly. It took you three months to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. So uh, where can everyone follow you? Where can everyone find your music? Um, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Plug, plug, plug. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. No, you can follow me on Instagram, Jelani underscore Lani, J E L A N I underscore L A N I. That's on IG. Um, Jelani Jackson on all streaming platforms everywhere. Um, I just released a video on my son actually not too long ago on YouTube. Um, song is fire. Yeah, it's called I. It's called Don't Wanna. It was by Jelani and Josiah. You know what I'm saying? That's my that's my son's artist name. He wanna be an artist, so yeah, I do check that out. Show him some love. You feel me? Um, that's out on YouTube right now, so you can check it out. Don't wanna, it's lit, it's mad cool. Yes, he sung everything on it. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but yeah, so you know what I mean. Nice. And like I said, Jelani Jackson on all streaming platforms for all my music. You know what I mean? It's lit. Go time. Um, appreciate it, dude. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, appreciate appreciate y'all having me, man. It's like, love, it was bro. like it was like connecting with the bros. You know what I'm saying? Right. Group with all that group, everybody over there. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is literally generational, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is generational. <laughs> so, yeah, all right, dude. Um, thanks for hopping on again. Thank you, everyone, for uh, watching 22 Candles. Uh, also, check out our spot fund, spotfund.com slash candle music. We're trying to raise $10,000 for the app. Also, follow us on social media. Also, check out Jelani's music. Really good stuff, bro. Like, to a candle. As, a, as a person who doesn't like music, and we're out of here. Right, uh. That's late.